It has been a crazy couple of days for me. I'm sorry I haven't come on here and make a video. Um, I don't know when the next time is I'll be able to make a video because I know the next couple of days are going to be crazy too. Um, but, you know, the Lord always makes a way for me to make a video when it's needed. And I know that right now there is a ton of crazy things going on in the world. Um, one of the biggest things that has come out is that America has basically told Ukraine, go ahead, use these weapons. And Russia has come out and said, you will pay. And, um... You know, we're just watching Bible prophecy unfold. We are watching um, our dreams and visions are, are one step closer to coming to pass. And it all lines up with the Bible. God has been speaking to us so loudly. Today, me and my husband, we were in a restaurant. And God used him to give me a warning about what is coming. So, me and my husband, we were sitting in a restaurant, and we heard thunder. And the thunder was not like normal thunder. It literally sounded like somebody was stomping their foot super hard. I mean, I, I mean, we're talking about big old feet. I mean, it truly sounded like that. And one guy in the restaurant was saying, that foot must be out of this world. And my husband, my husband said, it sounds like God is stomping his foot. It sounds like God is angry. It sounds like God's about to bring his wrath down. And they were laughing about it and joking about it. But the Holy Spirit said, confirmation on what is coming. And I'm like, what? Whoa. God is speaking. The world likes to laugh, mock, and scoff. But God is speaking and saying, I am coming. I am the storm. I'm coming in the storm, just like Shelly likes to say. And I know Brother Chris says it too. Um, but you know, Jesus, he's about to harbazo us. God is about to look at his son and say, son, Bring your bride home. Go get her. And we, we who give our life to Jesus and accept the free gift of salvation, we are the bride. We are the bride. We are going to be raptured. We are going to be snatched out of the way. We see the seven years of tribulation approaching. We see that everything is falling into place. The world's not falling apart. It is falling into place. I'm telling you guys right now. Do not fall for the delusion that is going on in the world. That there is going to be a peace. A great revival. Um, the, we're going to have another four years. Because it's absolute garbage. And I keep getting reminded of what that lady said to me all those years ago in the restaurant do not look for the election look for the rapture and so many people think that the election is over the election's not over Trump hasn't been inaugurated yet there's so much that can happen between now and then and there is a lot that is going on it's just that people want to be blinded to it because they're like, Trump won, blinders on, here we go. Read the Bible. Understand God's word. I'm telling you. It doesn't matter who gets into office. Who knows? We could, we could be here for the inauguration. I literally doubt it, but we could be. But I'm telling you right now, it doesn't matter who is in office because Bible prophecy will not be stopped. Bible prophecy will not be put on pause. Bible prophecy will be fulfilled. And 
you know, it's like everywhere I turn, God is speaking. God, God is saying, hey, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Eyes on me, not the world. Take your eyes off the world. Look to Jesus. Jesus went to that cross. Jesus paid your sin debt. God promised that Jesus would come back to get us. We have what's called a dispensation. We have, we are coming to the end of a dispensation. God gave us a 2,000 year dispensation called the age of grace. We are coming to the end of the age of grace. That arc door is about to slam shut. The age of grace is about to be pulled. Light and dark will no longer cohabitate together. Dark will be separated from light. Light will be in heaven and darkness in its true form will be upon this earth. Unleashed like it's never been unleashed before. Pretty soon, you're not going to have the, you're not going to be buying Christmas presents because freely. You're not going to be able to eat freely. You're not going to be able to live in your house or do anything normal once the age of grace is gone. Because I'm telling you, everything's going to change. Like that in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, all of this all, everything we know will be gone and change. We are seeing the beast system. We are seeing everything that the Bible told us to look for. It's right here. The writing is on the wall and it's everywhere. All you have to do is open your eyes and look at the evidence. I can only show you so much evidence. Brother Chris, Shelly, Lisa, Heather, and many, many other watchmen and watch women out there. Marty's two minute warning. I still need to get telegram. I'm just, I'm just being weird on that. I don't know why. But yeah, Marty's two minute warning. And there's another one. And in times, dreams and visions, uptime. We're all telling you the exact same thing. Time's up. Jesus is on his way. We're doing nothing but presenting you evidence after evidence after evidence. And so many people take that evidence and they shove it off to the side. And they have their blinders on. And they're listening to the government. They're like, look, everything's fine. Well, you know what the Bible says? Jesus will come on this world as a thief. The world will be buying, selling, eating, drinking, marrying, and giving a marriage. Everything will look and seem normal. Like it's going on like no other. People are so focused on what's going on with the election. Anticipating the inauguration day that Trump gets back in so they can have their four more years. Four more years ain't coming. People are focused on Thanksgiving and what the buffet is going to look like. So many people are focused on Christmas. Do you know how hard it is, how hard it has been for me to even think about Christmas? And let me tell you, my husband would tell you I'm a Christmas freak, especially when it comes to my little those little kids. Oh my goodness. My husband says I go a little bit overboard on spoiling the kids for Christmas. But it's what I do. It's what I love. And it's been so hard to just buy one stocking stuffer. Because it's like... It's like I don't even crave the things of this world anymore. I only crave Jesus. I, I want Jesus. I crave Jesus. I need Jesus. Jesus is my everything. This world is not my home. It's not where I belong. I stopped living in the world. 
And I've noticed that the closer I've grown to Jesus, the less I want of this world and the more I want of Jesus. The more I lean and crave Jesus. This world, the more, the more I see, the closer I grow to Jesus. I look around and I realize this world is absolute garbage. Jesus is my only hope. Jesus is my only true peace, true love, true joy. Jesus is something that I could never earn. I don't deserve Jesus. You don't deserve Jesus. But Jesus said, I love you. I went to the cross. I paid your sin debt because I because I want you to be worthy and deserving of me. And the only way to do that was to pay your sin debt in full on that cross. Please give your life to Jesus. Please don't be left behind. Don't wait for some big event to happen. I'm telling you guys, Jesus, Jesus is right now. The time for salvation is right now. Don't wait for some big sign to give your life to the Lord. Let this be your sign to give your life to Jesus. Jesus is coming. And I don't want to see anybody left. I don't want to see anyone left behind because the seven years of tribulation, it's going to be bad. It's going to be terrible. I don't want to see any of you left behind. I want to see every single one of you in heaven. All right, well, I'm going to get off here. Um, you guys can leave your prayer requests in the bottom. My email will be in the description. And I know so many people are like, what's Heather's channel? Um, so I will go ahead and leave Heather's channel linked in the description below. So that way you guys can go find her channel. It will be 